the needle out the bum. Scenario 3. Capture and control. Personally, I am very excited about this mission. I want to play this mission just for fun because ugh, I just think it's going to be sick. Fighting over the middle ground. Capture and control. One table um, and table quarters. Plus, um, I feel like a fool for kind of giving out th this information link. Being able to do several things. Um, they've modified some of the rules for this particular mission. All right, so it's captured control with the one objective in the middle. Table quarters will then determine how many or the level of your victory. So especially going into turn three, this one's important. Uh, regardless of what you've done in the first couple of rounds, uh, you definitely want to massacre in this. You don't want to. You don't want to get. Um, you don't want to get table. All right. So there's a couple of things, and I said they modified the rules. One of the things is to secure a table quarter the most scoring units from the person's army in that particular unit <clears throat> makes it controlled so it the way it used to be is like if I have a scoring unit and you have nothing in that can contest then I secure it or I yeah I secure the unit now it's if you have a scoring unit and I have two I win uh, same way over there if you have three I have two you win you know it's whoever has the most in whatever table quarter so um, that's pretty big uh, th that hurts me a little bit because I'm a chaos strong army or chaos strong I'm a points heavy army in chaos uh, my guys are specialized they're badass and I think in 40k quantity is better than quality oh, whip. <laughs> that's totally backwards I think quality is better than quantity in, the si in most situations so um, there's another thing in here that is particularly huge and this is going to be um, for an advanced player is like if you can straddle okay normally if you're if you got a unit and they are straddling table edge you know or uh, table quarters you say you got a squad here all in coherency it's scoring la -ti -da, there's nothing else around don't pay attention to them rhinos at the end of the game if you draw your lines out and you say okay well this it's in half in this squad half in that squad then what you're supposed to do one two three it's in this quarter, four, five, six, it's in this one. So you roll for it. It's random, okay? In this, when it's straddling, you declare, it says very specifically, you declare at the end of the game. So, a smart dude will get this objective. Whoever wins this objective, oh, it's so huge, and will straddle all four table quarters. What this will do? Well, as long as you don't get tank shocked by no mech army. <laughs> so you're ideally, it would be great to be doing this. You know, yeah, right. Perfect world. You ain't going to take any damage. What I'm saying is, at the end of the turn, you will be able to decide what unit, like, you'll be able to, or at the end of the game, not the end of the turn, you'll be able to decide which um, table quarter out of all four that this unit will stand in. It's huge. It can and it can also you be used to can you know to take that. So it's a big deal. Um, people be should be mindful uh, when they're setting up to do that. This I will not reserve almost anything. I I probably will reserve. Um, no, in fact I will reserve probably one rhino and the out, I will outflank and uh, the biker squad um, so this and I most likely depending on the situation again and who I deploy I would love to play guard in this I'll tell you that much uh, where I deploy my um, oblitz but it's most most likely I always do this I use rhinos as mobile cover oh, I hope that video didn't give us that bam you know so to, uh, this mission um, I'm really excited about. I like this.